y'all, we are coming live from the Cleveland Museum of Art. Told y'all I was gonna come here, y'all. Like, remember two days ago, I was like, I need to go somewhere different. I barely go to art museums, honestly, but it's nothing wrong with trying out something new. Not been a big time art person, but I honestly do love looking at some of the photography and some of the art because it has a deeper meaning behind it. Don't want to start them. But yeah, right now we're here like by the, um, I can't tell you what time period this is in right now. Imagine getting ready to go to war and you're getting in this. Hey, this is like a thumbnail. But yeah, about to check it out around here, y'all. Give y'all a little bit of scenery footage so y'all can see a few things. And um, hopefully y'all come check it out. You ever in Cleveland, come out here and check it out. The Cleveland Museum of Arts. And it's free. It's free. Baby, hit it. First African American graduate of the Cleveland School, later Institute of Art, earning his degree in 1938. You gotta come here and read these hidden gems. gonna be real I was not about to walk around and talk the whole time I was too busy actually trying to read and record but one thing I did learn from this experience alone is you know man we really got to read and break out our comfort zone of course everybody says the art museums is boring even I say it. I say it all the time I'm like ew art museum boring 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 but this morning I woke up and I was like you know what let's try something different today even if I'm only here for a good hour or so it's still something different you know what I mean and I think when you try different things and break out that comfort zone you grow as a person. It's like I learned so much in here about different histories, different time periods, whatever. So I definitely recommend you guys, you guys don't have to come to an art museum, but at least go somewhere that you really don't go and actually gain knowledge, you know what I mean? Even if you do decide to go to art museum, you don't have to read every single piece. But I read about a good five to 10 pieces of artwork in there and I learned a lot from y'all, like things I never knew before. And that's the power, y'all. Knowledge is power, education is power, reading is power. And number one rule, as I always say, break out your comfort zone, you know what I mean? Instead of me just going to Gypsy Bean and studying, I decided to come up here to the art museum, had a great time, and then after this, we're gonna see what's next. What's up, everybody? We are coming live from a new place. I decided to come to the bookstore today. I usually order my books off Amazon, but today I decided to actually come to a store, you know, switch it up a little bit. Um, can't really find the type of books I like, but I'm pretty sure they have them somewhere in here. About to browse around though. You know, I like books like The Alchemist, The Four Agreements, and The Secret. Those are like probably my top books, honestly. But I'm about to look around for something similar in that category, because those books are dope. All right, y'all. In a fine new book, Stillness Speaks. Eckhart Tolle, I don't know how to say his last name, but I read multiple of his books, y'all, and I love every single one. I was looking at business books, but it feels like that's pretty much logic, you know, wake your ass up early and put in the work, you know what I mean? I guess when I get to that point in life, I'll be a little more into those, but I'm still on a spiritual journey, y'all. I'm still on a spiritual journey, and I love the spiritual journey because when I read these books, I feel like a huge relief and just feel wholesome after I read these books. But I'm definitely going to get this book today. Starting it tonight, I actually don't know when I'll finish it, but I'm definitely gonna start on it tonight because I seem to always start on books and not finish them. I'm sure a lot of people out there do, but um, yeah. What up fam, we coming live from Chick-fil-A right now. I'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog out right here because you already know I'm about to go do these questions and go Uber for us at night. But today was a great day, y'all. As you can see, I started my day off at the art museum just to, you know, do something different, be in a different environment, man, just to, you know, why not? You know what I mean? Then I went to go get a new book. So I'm about to start on that tonight, most definitely. I love reading. And that's two of the things I love to do in life, honestly, is to wander off to different places and to read. You know what I mean? Both those things help me grow. Reading obviously helps you grow, gives you different insights. And going to different areas, different environments, period. It's just 
that's just a whole nother type of growth, honestly. But the gym I'm going to leave y'all with today is to just grow. You know what I mean? Do whatever is going to make you grow. Enjoy life. Enjoy the journey. Break out the comfort zone. And just, you know, just wander off. Just go do things you usually don't do. And, you know, that's why every week I try to at least do one thing I usually don't do. And then if I don't like it, I don't do it no more. If I do like it, I do it again. But I'm about to get to the grind, y'all. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Peace and love.